Oh, Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agents for the city of New York. Sole plaintiff in Conti vs. DSNY. 101058-2016, being heard at New York Supreme Court Appellate Division First Department at 27 Madison Avenue in New York City. What do we have here? What do we have here? Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. <laughs> it's nice to be off the street and back in my uh, comfy, comfy, cozy made, makeshift studio. So March 7th, we have a date. We have a date in court, right, where the panel of five appellate judges, very influential characters, will decide on all of the material down below, the, the appeal, the city's answer to the appeal, my response to their response, all of, all of the, um, the, the, the things that have transpired over the last bunch of months on YouTube, all of this breaking news and new recordings and, and, and all this stuff. So on that date, March 7th at 2 p.m. on a Wednesday, those judges, that stuff, they're going to open up a discussion in court and hold um, uh, hold a hearing amongst themselves. Now, I am not going to be there. I'm not, I'm not obligated to, uh, to be heard, right? I could be there, and, I, and anyone could observe because it's open to the public. But um, there will be no, um, I will not be heard from the floor. So this will be a summary judgment. This is the climax, folks. This is where these judges will decide to either rule completely in my favor, to drop it back to a lower court for a jury trial, or to say, Conti's full of shit. There is no retaliation. There is no quote. It is nothing, right? So this is, the, this is what we've been working up to, the appeal. This is the date, March calendar. Okay. Also, um, other in other uh, area of news, I want to put this out there too. The committee, uh, the oversight committee on sanitation and solid waste management, right, is um, a committee uh, made up of the city council, right? So five people on the city council, an elected um, position in New York City, will hold. Uh, hold hearings to oversee the Department of Sanitation, right? Now, they're supposed to, they generally, according to their calendar, they meet once a month on this. They haven't met for four months. <laughs> so they've, uh, I, I'll, I'm going to drop all these links down below so you can, you can have a look at, uh, you can have a look at this right at the City Council uh, uh, website. On Tuesday at 1 p.m., Tuesday, March 13th, Tuesday, March 13th, uh, the city council will meet at 1 p.m. to discuss the budget for the future of DSNY. DSNY's one-year uh, uh, budget. Now, at 3 o'clock, according to the, the menu, it says that DSNY, the Department of Sanitation, will also be there. Right? So you can expect the top brass, maybe C Commissioner Garcia and whoever else she drags along for the ride, to, you know, pat each other on the back and say what a wonderful job they did, right, or, or are doing. And then at, shortly after, the, the, um, the hearing is open to the public. So people like you and I can go there and pepper them with questions, right? So here's your opportunity, right? Here's your opportunity, press, media, if you're interested in this case, people inside DSNY, if you have information and you would like to ask the city council how come they haven't, investigated this? How come they haven't uh, uh, charged uh, DSNY with, uh, with uh, the illegal quota right? and retaliation for exposing that quota and an ongoing discriminatory practice of segregated um, communities within DSNY? So here's your opportunity to bring your beef <laughs> to the city council. Now, it's ironic that my court date is March 7 and then the City Council Oversight Committee will uh, hear uh, DSNY spoo their nonsense a week later on the 13th. So I don't know if that's coincidental or not. Right. So those are, that's two bits of breaking news. I'll leave the link. You can find out exactly where it is. It's at City Hall. It's probably in the mayor's quarters. There's a, a city council chamber inside City Hall. Or it could be across the street. You have to look into it. So it could be at 250 Broadway. Right. 
I want to thank my friend um, Christian Sullivan. Christian, I got your I got your very 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 wonderful um, uh, letter and your very 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 um, uh, generous uh, contribution to the cause. I really really appreciate that. You know, you're, you're the you inspired me to come back. You know, come out and and continue the plight and and uh, you know talk about it. Christian is also a uh, a whistleblower of sorts who works on the green side inside of the SNY and is bringing has brought uh, the issue of um, smog inside of uh, the the garages at the SNY the um, the exhaust fumes from the from the trucks that um, sanitation workers are forced to breathe in and the city has done nothing to correct so Christian has done great work and he's taken an interest in this case because he knows who we're dealing with, you know, he saw the corruption and called it. You know? So I want to thank, thank you again, Christian. I want to also bring another name into the mix. I want to uh, bring my friend Nelson Flores. Nelson is a um, this guy. We had a great conversation on the phone. I love, I love this guy. This guy is, <laughs> he says, he said to me when I first got him on the phone, he goes, you sound just like you sound in the videos. Yeah, well, I am. You know, this is who I am. You know, it's like be who you are, be who you are. But anyway, Nelson is uh, doing some great work. He is um, a uh, a whistleblower. I don't know much about the details. His, his details are very uh, specific, and because he's been inside of the, the city employment for I don't know twenty or thirty years, a long time. So he sees the minutia of the corruption, and he's been reporting it and exposing on it how um, various parts of uh, city lists, job lists are manipulated to favor certain people and discount other people. So he's he's very uh, astute in that more than I, I uh, would ever be. But mostly he brought this to my attention. Breaking news in the, in the New York Post. What do we have here? What do we have here? What do we have here? Breaking news in the Daily Post. I was fired for exposing corruption at City Hall. Oh, shit. De Blasio sued by ousted city official alleging unlawful retaliation. Wow. Wow, this is in the news. Yes, this is breaking news. Yesterday, February the 21st, 2018. What does it say? An ousted city, New York City official filed a complaint in federal court Wednesday against Mayor Bill de Blasio alleging unlawful retaliation for repeatedly objecting to what he said was de Blasio's special treatment of donors, including Harendra Singh, a guy, he's a rest rest restauranteer out in Queens, okay? Th that's not really the point. I want to tell you what the point is. So the gentleman we're talking about, thank you, Ricardo Morales, Ricardo Morales, uh, was fired a year ago. He is the deputy commissioner of the Department of Citywide Administrative Services, DCAS. DCAS, that's where our friend Nelson Flores works, right? So this is the top official there, deputy commissioner, got fired saying the Blasio, it, it, take, the, the money for favors, they're taking the money and then they're giving, the, the, the donors give them, they're, they're giving partiality to the donors who give them money and then they give them a favor. Where have we heard that before? Democratic Party, New York City, that's where we are. The Clintons, you know, this is this is what this is this is home home to the to the corruption. So so this is breaking news in the uh in the post uh and um what else does it say? Complaint alleges that Morales was ousted for cooperating in probes into de Blasio's fundraising and to send a message to all cities, dedicated civil servants about what, what happens if you oppose the personal interests of Bill de Blasio. Now, this is consistent with the way the city operates. This is wonderful exposure news. I hope this guy takes them to the mat. I hope he wins. Mr. Morales, if you're if you're listening and if someone brings this to your attention, reach out to me. All my information is down below. Easy. I would love to come and, and help you. I would love for you to reach out to me and help me. <laughs> so um, so it's you know it's the uh, it's it's the chickens coming home to roost. You know uh, I'm not going to dive into the uh, you know politics right now and 
my view on the 2018 um, uh, interim, you know, uh, midterm elections, <clears throat> because you know, again, I think the message right now people need to to realize is that the elections don't count. That the the primary, the democratic primary process is a complete and utter farce. It's a fake election, right? All that matters is the perception, right? So all these democratic clowns that are jockeying for position and and trying to get the attention of the voters are really not trying to get the attention of the voters at all. What they're trying to do is they're trying to get the attention of the establishment to, to, to make the illusion that they're in the lead and then they get picked. And then they have to go up against the Democrat, the Republican Party. And there it's kind of, it's harder to cheat, although they're doing it. Whoever controls the machines, they cheat. Like in the example of Trump, Trump, Trump you know, exceeded the margin of cheating so much that he that he broke through because you know nobody voted very very fewer people voted for Clinton than they did Trump anybody who tells you differently is is lying to you so so there is all of that going on but you see now that the I want to make the point that the corruption in New York City is real here's a here's a top city official accusing De Blasio insider pointing to the corruption inside of City Hall powerful stuff so look we got to win this case okay it's, you know the judges are going to are going to view Conti versus DSNY right it's this is this is what happened to me is textbook as is as as what happened to Mr. Morales once you blow the whistle once you expose the crime they come at you in a different way they get they they stick the knife or they stick the knife in your back when you turn around uh and, and then say oh I had nothing no I had nothing to do with it nothing to do with it no, no, he was a bad employee. He didn't have the, no. That's not the reason. It's not retaliation. It's because because he's 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 incompetent or he's 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 uh he's he, oh he made a mistake on the job. No, no, no. Okay, so that that's what happens. And um, so again, mark your calendar. March seven is city. Uh, we're going to be at uh, appeals court in Conti versus DSNY. I'll have more on that. I may show up. I may rally press uh, to be there. I'm going to reach out to some of my friends right now and uh, see if we can do something on that date. I'm not. I'll have more details as we go along because I'm not quite sure of the process since I don't have to be there. Right? I don't have to argue in front of the judges, so that's why I'm not really sure. And the city, the city council thing on the, on the 13th at 1 p.m. Uh, I'll keep my presence a mystery. We'll see. That's about all for now, and um, thank you again to, to to the supporters. You know, even those the anonymous people that are sending stuff out for keep the keep hope alive. Keep you know the the, the comments going in YouTube. I'm having a little bit of a problem with YouTube. I'm starting to notice a bit of a censorship, a bit of a my my uh, my functionality on YouTube is becoming uh, harder to navigate. So that's a good sign, and it means that we're getting popular, and um, uh, the voice is getting out there. So that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.